In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the apps on OBD11. I know it's pretty straightforward, but just in case someone wants to look at it before they buy it, I'll give you a quick rundown on it as well. So mine may not look the same as yours. Uh, depending on your vehicle, you may have some apps if you have certain features. Um, again, it will pull up the apps that are available to your car. So what I'm trying to say is this may not look exactly like yours, so don't worry. Um, again, you get a pretty good list of apps. Now, this is where a lot of people give negative comments or reviews on the device uh, compared to others like VCDS, where they say, oh, you have to pay to use this stuff. No, you don't. This is just a lazy way of doing it. If you want to learn how to code your remote window function, you can do that. Uh, it's going to definitely take a lot more time than this. Um, my, I myself want to definitely learn how to do that so I can you know, save myself from spending the credits. Which, if you buy 10 credits, it's $1.25. If you buy 500, it's $45. So you obviously get a better deal the more you buy. Um, now, for this case, I already have mine on. Uh, so what I'll show you is turning it off. So for example, you would be turning it on more most likely that it's actually off on your on your uh, car. So basically you press and hold that green button. If you just tap it, it will tell you to go ahead and hold it. So for instance there, I want to turn it back on on this car. Press and hold it. Now the tablet I have is not the greatest tablet if you have a Galaxy smartphone or one of the, the higher end Android devices it runs really smooth and amazing for me you can tell this tablet's 60 bucks so um, for example I'll try to find one that I know won't work in my car just because it's just certain apps aren't compatible with certain models they'll show up I know it does seem kind of silly but like for example the auto folding mirrors I don't have that and if I were to turn it on, it will write it. But it's obviously you know if you have automatic folding mirrors or not. So the one thing is it's not completely as straightforward in that sense. And that's maybe why doing this video is a good thing for some people. So they understand that, hey, you know, just because it shows that the app is there doesn't mean I can always use it. Now there's other ones that I've noticed, which unfortunately I can't find at the moment because they always pop up when I when I uh, don't want them to, is when it shows unknown. Um, for instance, coming home time, I don't believe is a feature in this one. Um, correct, not supported. So you'll see right there at the bottom that you can't even do it. It won't even allow you to. Whereas, you know, like needle sweep. It's not gonna let me do it because it's only for you can see the GTI and GTR or GTDs and the R models after a certain time period. So basically, that's it for the apps. Um, again, they've got retrofits, which are things like again, if you install something and you don't want you know check engine light going on or um, that kind of thing, that would be something that you look for in retrofits. Um, workshop again is more stuff like testing the heater, you know, want to do the oil reset rather than doing the, the you know, the, the method or the keystrokes on the actual car itself, you can do it there. Um, so again, the apps are really cool. I find that's a very unique feature of OBD11. Uh, a lot of people, again, get uh, confused and think that you have to use them. I'll quickly show that you do not. So again, you want to do something to you know your, your convenience features uh, what you're going to want to do is go into control units engine and you would do your coding um, in that case that's where it gets a little more complicating but once you figure it out it'd be really easy um, so I mean in that case uh, Again, you're looking at these things, and off the top, it's not going to tell you where to go. That's kind of how, you know, definitely the company's making money too, right? I've spent money on apps, and, you know, saved me time from having to figure out how to code it. 
It also gives some people the peace of mind that, hey, I'm not going to screw up my car um, because you know, the apps are designed you know, by the IT group that developed OBD11 to work. Um, so essentially, obviously, if you see it's not supported, they, it already knows that or something is turning on the auto folding mirrors when you don't have them isn't going to necessarily ruin your car. So that's it for this video. Again, I just wanted to show the apps um, and the fact that you can do long coding, um, and, but again, the apps are easier.